Hello and thanks for watching. This is Mike Alk with ACO Technical Services and Support. Today I'm going to show you ACO's new web application called TechConnect. We are excited to announce that we have recently updated TechConnect to include some improvements and feature enhancements. Please continue watching to learn more. TechConnect can be accessed using the OneACO dealer portal. Once you have logged into OneACO, you can find the TechConnect link by clicking on the Service tab. TechConnect PDI is the first module in a new suite of tools focused on the dealer service technician. Performing a PDI through TechConnect provides the dealer the ability to perform machine-specific delivery inspections using a laptop or a mobile device. TechConnect PDI will ensure that the machine has arrived in the expected condition, free of any defects introduced during the manufacturing process, or possible damages caused during transportation. You can launch the TechConnect site by clicking on the Launch Application link. Please note that you may need to allow TechConnect in your pop-up blocker. TechConnect works best with Internet Explorer 10, the latest versions of Chrome and Firefox, iOS 7, Android 4.0, and newer devices. Navigating through TechConnect relies on a series of menus. There is the main menu available from the home screen. The same menu can also be found through the navigational drawer, located at the top left-hand corner of the screen. The search menu will allow you to locate information quickly. We will review this feature in detail in just a moment. If you need help with TechConnect, you can click on the Help button in the top right hand corner. You will notice that the help documentation loads in a new window. Click on the Table of Contents button for an overview of topics covered in the help documentation. If you need to make a change to the language in TechConnect, you can make that change within the user profile. Once you have selected your language, you can click Apply to set that language. In this example, we'll change the language to French. As you can see, the site is now in French. All right, back to English. If you still have questions regarding how to use TechConnect or would like to send us a suggestion regarding a TechConnect feature, please click on Help and select Contact Us. Please note that any non-TechConnect issues should be reported through the Support Center. Alright, let's create a PDI. Before a vehicle is ready for customer delivery, a pre-delivery inspection, or PDI, must be performed. This inspection not only ensures that the vehicle is in perfect condition for the customer, but also validates the completeness of the manufacturing process by checking engine and other oil levels, installing brackets, tightening bolts, checking for shipping damage, etc. Any item that is damaged, incomplete, missing, or not operating properly should be noted on the PDI form to verify that these conditions existed prior to customer delivery. If something has not been installed properly, it should be noted as well. A quick way to start a new PDI is from the Work Items section of the home page. Or you can use the PDI link from the home page or menu. From the PDI submenu, you can click on the New button to start a new form. For this demonstration, we are going to perform a customer delivery for a tractor. Once the appropriate form has been selected, a serial number is required to submit the form. As one of the new features for 2016, you can now perform a partial serial number search. In this example, we will search for the serial of 204001. This will allow us to locate a Massey Ferguson 5612 tractor. You will notice that the serial number is automatically validated and the model, manufacturing location, and date are retrieved automatically and displayed. Now we will set the engine hours and provide our contact information. Now we are ready to begin the inspection by clicking on the Inspect button. TechConnect will display one question to you at a time. You can navigate through the questions by clicking the Next and Previous buttons directly below the question. You will notice that the navigation map stays updated as you progress through the inspection questions. Let's answer the rest of the questions in this section. Now that we are completing the ninth and final question, you will notice that clicking Next will take you automatically to the next section. Let's demonstrate what we can do when an issue has been found during the inspection process. In this example, we have discovered a paint defect. We will select the type of defect and browse our hard drive to attach an image of that paint defect. You will notice that a thumbnail is displayed after it has been attached. You can attach up to five images per question. 
The rest of this inspection form can be processed in the same fashion. You can save your work at any time by clicking the Save button at the top of the form. Note that this inspection form is TCP004193. We will complete the PDI shortly. We can even pick up where we left off on a mobile device. We will talk more about that in just a moment. Now let's review the other ongoing inspections. If you want to see a list of all the open PDI forms currently underway at your dealership, you can click the menu button, select PDI, then select the My PDI link. Now you can see a list of all the PDIs currently in progress at your dealership. Let's use the search tool to locate a PDI. You can quickly locate an in-progress PDI by typing the serial number or PDI number into the search field in the top of the website. You can see that this is the same PDI we were working on previously. New for 2016, we have introduced the ability to print existing PDIs, complete with images, as well as blank PDI forms for those of you who still need to complete a PDI using pen and paper. We can click Print PDF to generate a copy of the currently loaded PDI. This will include any completed questions. We can also generate a blank PDF of the form. This will not include any completed questions of the PDI. All right, let's get our mobile device connected. TechConnect supports almost all current Android and iOS devices. You will need to download the corresponding version of TechConnect from your mobile device. You can locate the TechConnect app by searching for Agco Tech Connect in your app store. Once this free application is installed, in order to connect a mobile device, you will need to generate an access code from the TechConnect website. Click on the home page link and click on the Connect Mobile Device link. The mobile device feature is now also available from the main menu under the application section. You will need to accept the legal disclaimer. At this point, you can generate the access code by clicking on the Generate Access Code link. The access code is a 2D QR code that can be scanned from your mobile Tech Connect application. You will now need to load the Tech Connect on your mobile device. On the login screen of Tech Connect on your mobile device, you will see the Access Scan Code link. Click this link and then point your mobile device at the QR code in the Tech Connect application on your computer screen. This is a one time process. Also new for 2016 is improved notifications. To ensure you take advantage of this feature, allow notifications on your device. Furthermore, TechConnect will notify you when you're not using Wi-Fi. For more information on minimizing or preventing cellular data usage with TechConnect, see Service Bulletin 150189 from your one Echo dealer portal. Now that you're on the home screen of TechConnect Mobile, you can continue working on your PDIs by clicking on PDI. Here you can see the draft we have been working on, TCP004193. You will notice that the inspection form is about 10% complete because TechConnect Mobile has loaded the current state of the PDI from the website. TechConnect provides you with a lot of flexibility when completing inspections. You can create inspections from your mobile device and then complete them from your PC. Likewise, you can complete and submit inspections on your mobile device that you started from your PC. The forms stay synchronized automatically between the different platforms. Earlier on the PC, we attached an image of a paint defect. Let's take a look at that PDI question on the mobile device. As you can see, that same image is loaded from the mobile device as well. We can navigate through questions on the mobile device using the forward and back buttons next to the question counter. Notice the Not Applicable button. Some questions support this to accommodate non-standard or an optional equipment. For the sake of this demonstration, Let's assume the cab was dirty. We will select the result as dirty and use the camera on our mobile phone to take a picture of the issue. Like the PC version, you can attach up to five images per question. You can return to the question map at any time by clicking on the left arrow next to the form title. You can save the form at any time by selecting Save from the menu at the top right hand corner of the screen. Notice that you also have the option to submit the form. For the sake of time, we will answer the rest of the questions and return to the PC to finalize or submit the form. Now that the form has been completed, let's go ahead and submit it. In order to do so, you will need to click the Edit button to enable the Submit function. Once the form is submitted successfully, you will notice that there is a new field at the top of the form. This is the official PDI number. Use this when searching for previously completed PDIs. TechConnect's capabilities do not stop at PDI. We are happy to announce that a full-featured support system is now available, including knowledge objects and support requests. This means that you can now search, for example, knowledge objects on your PC and mobile device. 
Furthermore, TechConnect provides a powerful search tool to help you find the support information you need. Using the product filter, you are able to limit your search to a specific brand, machine type, series, or model. You can set as many or as few filters as you desire. In this example, we are going to set a filter for an MT700C series Challenger tractor. We will not select a specific model. You will notice that the filter has now been set and the initial search results have been returned. Notice the search results. You can now refine your search by typing your keywords into the search query located at the left-hand side of the screen. You will notice that there are now 51 records that contain the words track tension in the search results. You can continue to refine your search until you locate the information you are looking for. Let's take a moment to explore the knowledge object. There are six major sections. There are the properties area that contain the title, global failure conditions, the causal part number and description, and the creation and last modified date. The problem summarizes the underlying cause of the issue. The symptoms describe the condition experienced by the user or operator. The solution describes how to correct the issue. The classification lists all of the models covered by the knowledge object. If you found the knowledge object to be helpful, you can upvote the article by clicking the thumbs up. This also provides a way to see how popular the article is. If the article did not solve your issue, or if you found it to be inaccurate, you can downvote it and provide us with feedback. When using the Omni search bar, ensure that the appropriate information type is selected. You can clear your search filter by clicking the X. Now let's take a look at the Support Center. We are pleased to announce that TechConnect will be replacing the Source application for incident management. You will still be able to access Source to review historical incidents, but the creation of new ones will be limited to TechConnect moving forward. Also, we have migrated Source incidents dating back to January 1st of 2014 into TechConnect. You can create an incident in TechConnect directly from the home page by clicking on Create Support Request. Notice the recent incidents below these options in the support panel. If you need to get information from ACO but are not experiencing an issue with a vehicle, you can click on Request Information to initiate your question. The first step when creating a new support request or requesting information is to properly identify the equipment you are working on. For the purpose of this example, let's use the serial number of ALM20226. Support Center, just like PDI, is able to use a partial serial number search. Let's type in 20226 and click on the magnifying glass. Once the serial number has been validated, you will see that the brand, machine type, and model will be filled in automatically. You will also notice that the unit of measure has already been defaulted to engine hours for you. Let's specify 200 hours in the machine usage field. You can specify a part number. TechConnect will look up the part description for you automatically. If you know the main area and sub area of the failure you are experiencing, you can provide that information. You will notice that as soon as you select the main area, in this case we have chosen hydraulics, a support topics panel will be displayed that lists all of the relevant KOs for this global failure code type. You can click any of the items in the list. They will load in a new tab and not disrupt your current work. Let's provide a description for our problem. Let's type in reduced steering capability when operating the machine. You will notice when we leave the field, the support topics repopulate with a new list of KOs. You will notice another improvement. You are now able to create an incident for any of your branch dealerships. OK, let's say you want to attach an image from your mobile device. You can save it as a draft, then pick up where we left off from your mobile device. Attaching images is possible on all supported devices, including PC. Using TechConnect on your mobile device, locate the draft incident and add an attachment. You can see that TechConnect is flexible with the type of attachments it supports. In this case, we'll capture a short video. Now that we've attached a video to the incident, we can save and return to the PC to finalize or submit the request as well as download and view the video captured from the mobile device. Let's take a quick look at the video we just captured using a mobile device. Locate the draft incident and view the attachments. As you can see, this is the same video we captured earlier. All right, let's submit the support request. Notice the request number has now become an official incident number. As another improvement for 2016, TechConnect now has a built-in notification system. Let's click on the notification icon and see if we had any responses to our support request. On the mobile device, 
This new notification will appear in the device's built-in notification system. In this example, let's assume that the support suggestion corrected the problem. Open the incident, go into edit mode, and provide your feedback. Make sure and submit your incident after providing feedback and updates. You will get notifications for all incident status changes, including when they are resolved and closed. When the incident has been resolved, you have one last opportunity to provide feedback as you can see here. When an incident has been closed, you will no longer be able to edit that incident. Thanks for reviewing TechConnect with us today. If you have any questions or comments, please direct them to tech.connect at acocorp.com.